everybody. You're in the kitchen with Ann. Sean. And we're here to make buttery three ingredient shortbread cookies. Now these cookies are in the form of a bar. Yes, we're hungry already. It's Monday morning, we're ready to go. So we open up our box. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. We've taken care of that before starting the video. Now you're gonna to wanna to cream the butter and sugar together until light and fluffy. So that's one cup of unsalted butter and a half a cup of sugar. I'll get the sugar, you get the butter? If you wanna measure the ingredients from your box, we put approximates in there, but there should be more than you need. So I'm gonna measure out a half a cup of sugar. Sugar makes the whole go around. Add my half a cup of sugar. Sean's put the butter in there for us already. Best to use an electric mixer to make this go by fast, so we put ours up. All about the technique. It's especially important when there's only three ingredients. Next thing our instruction tells us to do is to gradually beat in the flour. So there's two cups of flour and we're going to put it in a little bit slowly while we continue to mix. I don't want to make a mess because no one likes to make a mess. That's right. You have to take your time. You have nothing but time in these days, right? Okay, so Sean has a cup. We're going to put in about half of that to start. Don't get to fight over who gets to lick the. Uh, no. Don't fight over who gets to lick, lick the thing at the end. Yeah. There's two. Thank you. 
then the recipe says to put it in an ungreased square baking pan. So while I trust the recipe and the reviews, I'm going to use a piece of parchment paper. That will help us lift out the cookie bars and we'll be able to slice them um, a lot easier. So I'm just going to put in the parchment paper and Sean's going to dump the dough right in here. The one thing we didn't use that was in your box was the confectioner's sugar. That's to put on the top when you take them out of the oven. It makes them look a little bit more finished. Scraping out the last of that dough. Okay, so when it comes, it looks like this. Now the next step of the recipe says to press it to make it even. Um, so you're going to want to press down into the corners. You don't want it baking uneven, so you're going to try your best to make sure that the same height all around. Okay. What's nice is the confectioner sugar on top, when you're done, will hide any mistakes. If this is just for you, then no problem. All gonna taste the same. So I have it pressed in pretty good. Now what it recommends is putting, um, using a fork to um, prick it in a few areas. So I'm gonna do that so it bakes evenly. See my marks. Goes in the oven at 325 for 30 to 35 minutes. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. We're ready to take out our shortbread cookie bars. We've been checking on them in the oven. It's been a little over 30 minutes for us. We do have a convection oven, so yours might take a little bit longer. Smells fantastic. That smells fantastic. So it's a nice light golden brown. And we use the parchment paper, so we're going to be able to take it out on this cutting board right here. Let's see how good of a decision this one. Lift it out, right? Okay. It says that um, you should cut them while warm. These are piping hot, so I'm not sure what kind of result we're going to get here, but we're going to try anyway. So far, so good, Sean. Yep. Looks good to me, so. You separate them and cool a little bit quicker. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.